You see, I have not erased the previous question solution. Why so? Because I have something very important to tell. As we saw, the previous question had the main equation as y square is equal to 4ax. How many arbitrary constants? Only one which is a. So if one constant was there, what did we do? We differentiated it only once. The other thing, how many equations did we obtain along with the main equation? So we saw that we see one and two equations. So now because of this question and the previous questions that we did, if I generalize that I have a given function as f of x, y, c1, c2 and so on, different arbitrary constants till cn, which gives me n constants or n arbitrary constants, how many times do we need to differentiate it? Okay, this is not x, this is n. How many times did we differentiate it? The number of constants will decide how many times we need to differentiate. So, n times we differentiate. The other thing, how many equations do we get? Along with the main equation, we get n plus 1 equations. So, 1 extra we will get because 1 is main equation and n equations are already there. The other thing, what do we do specifically? We eliminate the constants. So, we eliminate the constants and not only in the previous question of parabola we have done this, we have done in every question related to formation of differential equations till now. You can check it on. So, the procedure is that whatever number of constants are there, make a note of it. Accordingly differentiate, you will obtain different different equations and the final order or the order of the final resultant differential equation will be the same regarded to or with respect to the constants. Since there was only one constant, we have only first order differential equation. So final order is also dependent upon the number of constants. So see, the constants only we are eliminating to get the differential equation. But these constants are very important in order to decide the order, in order to decide how many different times we need to differentiate and also in order to know how many equations do we actually obtain in our solution.